Today, we'll be learning how to create digital stickers using Google Drawings. First, you need to open up a blank Google Drawing, and you can get started by using your Shape tool to create a big circle in the middle of your canvas. If you hold down the Shift key, you will get a perfect circle, and if you just draw a circle without holding the key down, it will be more like an oval. That's up to you how you want your shape to look. You are going to recolor your shape with, with whatever color you want your background to be. You can make the outline transparent or you can make it a darker color and thicker. Again, this is all however you want your design to look. For this sticker, I want to use a background photo instead of just having a blank color. So I'm going to look up an image by hitting insert image and searching the web. I found this really cool painting. I'm going to insert it into my work and then lower the transparency so it's nice and light and it's not super bright so that I can put like words or other pictures right on top of it. To lower the transparency, you will click on your image and then up in your toolbar, you will see a button that says format options. In there will give you all the adjustments of brightness and transparency and recolor options that we can talk about later. Now when you insert an image this way, it's going to come up as a big rectangle and I want it to be a circle just like how my sticker is. So up where you see your crop tool, there is a down arrow next to it and you're going to click on that and it says mask options. You're going to choose your circle shape and make that circle the exact same size as your original sticker so that it fits perfectly inside your shape. Once I got my picture to be the right size, I decided that I still wanted my pink background to sit on top of it a little bit. So I'm going to go up to arrange or you can double tap with two fingers and hit order and I'm gonna bring my original circle forward. Here's where I can change my color, change my transparency. Transparency is just the see-throughness of your work. So if you want to be able to see through your circle to that background picture, if you want to add one, that is up to you. To change your transparency, you'll click on your paint bucket and at the bottom, there's a little plus sign that says custom, and that is gonna let you choose a custom color or lower your transparency. Now that my background looks the way I want it to, I'm gonna add some text on top of my sticker. I'm gonna type out what I want first, and then go up to add my size and choose my font. If you're looking through your fonts and you don't like the options, there is a button at the top that says add more fonts. I wanted to look for something that looked a little bit like handwriting, maybe a little cursive-y. So I can choose when I see all fonts, I can choose just handwriting ones. So they looked a little bit handwritten and less computery. You can scroll through any of these and hit OK, and they will add it to your Google Suite so that you can use that text over and over again. I want you to play around with your text. Don't just choose your generic typeface. You want to really make this look nice. You can arrange it the way you want to and layer it, make your text different colors, different sizes, bold. You want it to be able to be red, um, but make it look intentional. Once I had my text the way I wanted, I knew I wanted to add more detail so it wasn't so plain. When you're looking for images to insert onto your sticker, you need to make sure that they have a blank background. Just like how we looked for our items for our locker in the beginning of the year, you need to make sure that they have a transparent background, no white or black squares around them. I wanted to add clouds to my work, and so I searched the word clouds with the letters P N G after. Most of the time that's gonna give you a transparent background. I also could have searched for clouds transparent and that might have worked. So I like the way this cloud looks, but it's a little bit too dark with everything else I have going on. So I am going to make it a little bit more transparent. I'm gonna copy and paste these a few times. And if you don't remember, if you click on one of your items, you can hit Control C and that will copy and then Control V will paste. 
So I'm going to put a few different clouds, go into my format options, and use my transparency button again to mess around with how see-through those clouds are when they sit on top of my work. Since my clouds hang outside of my circle, we're going to have to do another mask or cropping on them to make it look like they're part of my sticker and not sitting on top of them. So you can go up to that little crop button, choose a circle, and when you double click, you'll see those black boxes and it will allow you to resize everything so it fits perfectly inside your circle. Just make that crop circle the exact same size as your sticker background. When I gave my work a second look, I decided that my letters were a little bit too light to be red. So I started messing around with my background, made that a little bit brighter. And then I realized that I could add a drop shadow to my letters, which gives them a little bit of a shadow behind them and they stand out better. If that's something you want to do, you can. Remember, this is your artwork and you can get as creative as you want with it. When you're all finished, you want to download this as a PNG, which means that your background will be transparent instead of having a white square. You're going to go to File, Download, and PNG so that your work is saved to your Chromebook. So I really liked my sticker, but I wanted to create another version that was similar without completely starting over. So I'm going to go to File and make a copy so that it doesn't change anything about my original sticker and I can make a whole lot of changes but have it look like it's the same style. I know that on my new version of my sticker I want to add rainbows. So I'm going to go just open a new tab, go to Google, and search for rainbow drawing. When I find the one that I want, I'm going to save it to my Chromebook. Because it doesn't have a transparent background, I need to remove it. So if you guys remember, we're going to save our picture and then go to that website remove.bg and that's going to get rid of the background for any pictures that you find that you want to use, that there is a white or black or any kind of rectangle or square around your image. So you'll upload it and it will remove your background. You can save it to your Chromebook and then we'll go back in and insert it to our work. So I got rid of that colorful situation I had on my last one and I am going to be placing my new little rainbow additions into my work. So I'll hit insert image and then upload from computer. Again, I'm going to mess around with the transparency by hitting format options. And I'm just going to make these rainbows into a little pattern by filling up my circle. Make sure whatever you add, you mess around with the order. You don't want your new addition to be just completely sitting on top of your old work. So you can send them all to back if you want to. And then later, we will take that pink or whatever your color is, circle, and push that back so it sits behind everything else. I'm going to have some things in front and some things behind, but as always, it's your work and you can make it look however you'd like. Once I have everything laid out, I'm going to have to go through and do my cropping tool again on anything that sticks over the edge. Once you have everything laid out where you'd like it to be, make sure we go up to File, Download, and save that work as a PNG file, and then you're all set.